Today, we're diving into the remarkable life of Sitting Bull, a legendary Native American chief who left an indelible mark on the pages of history. As we celebrate Native American Heritage Month, let's unravel the fascinating tale of this iconic figure. Born in 1831 in what we now call South Dakota Sitting Bull, initially dubbed Slow due to his early struggles in warfare, overcame the odds to become one of the most powerful Native American leaders. Did you know that at just 10 years old, he hunted and killed his first buffalo, setting the stage for his incredible journey? By 1868, Sitting Bull rose to become the chief of the Lakota Nation, leading his people against the encroaching American forces. The Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876 showcased his strategic brilliance as he faced off against General Custer, securing a historic victory for Native American tribes. Can you imagine the courage it took to stand against such overwhelming odds? Now, here's a twist in the tale. In 1885, Sitting Bull joined Buffalo Bill Cody's Wild West show for a hefty $50 a week. Yet, despite the tempting pay, he grew disillusioned with the city life and the hostility directed at him. I would rather die an Indian than live a white man, he boldly declared. Sitting Bull remained unyielding in his convictions, rejecting Christianity and steadfastly honoring his people's way of life. Fast forward to 1890, he embraced the ghost dance, a ceremony aimed at preserving Native American culture. His influential role in the movement led to his tragic end, as he was shot and killed during a confrontation with authorities. As we reflect on the life of this Native American hero during Native American Heritage Month, let's honor Sitting Bull's legacy. Thanks for tuning in to discover the captivating facts about Sitting Bull. If you're hungry for more fascinating tales, don't go anywhere. Up next, check out Fressburg Cartoon's intriguing video about another historical icon. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay curious. See you in the next video.